we got some moose leftovers uh, from the moose hunt. It started on Wednesday on the 1st of September. So, which is always a good time for the dogs because then uh, they can they can just, uh, you know, swallow as much food as they can usually. It, this year is going to be a little bit different. I, I think um, I'm not going to get that much, but anyway, um, the not only the hunting season started, but also the dog training started. So it's really important to to actually, um, you know, keep them fed and healthy, basically. But um, so the way I do it is usually, uh, or it started to become like that, is that I keep them rel relatively slim in the summertime, um, so they are not like you know when I'm going hiking with them or whatever. And also in the beginning of the season when I'm started run starting running, that they're not too heavy. Um, so uh, they don't have so much pressure on the joints and whatever, especially my big guys, you know, Nipiturik, my biggest guy, he uh, already has problems with breathing and overheating and whatnot. If he would be fat, uh, that would be really detrimental to his health. So um, keeping him fairly slim in the beginning of the season when we do the first runs, you know, so they can actually ease into to what they're actually about to do for the whole season is uh, pretty important so and also I know there's a huge difference between um, running on Svalbard as I did um, a couple of years ago um, where you basically just have heavy loads and really just go slow and, and steady um, then what do you do here because you usually have you know here in Sweden you have tra tra trails the majority of time and uh, even though you have heavy sleds, it's usually like even though you go up and down, up and down the mountains, it's usually fairly um, quote unquote easy conditions compared to uh, what you would have if you just uh, have like a really dry out, rough snow, um, which you can have at times, you know, but it's, um, it's, it's just different in terms of training. So keeping the dogs in more in an athletic shape rather than having them bulky and big is is quite the priority for me so uh, now what I'm focusing on is get the first couple of kilometers in you know like I'm doing 10 kilometer runs at the moment um, getting them giving them a base in terms of like rhythm and movability and then um, I let them rest for a week or two depending a little bit which is coming up actually soon because uh, my females are getting in heat and it's usually uh, quite a shitty period of time you know dogs are a little bit over crazy and whatnot so that is usually the time uh, paired with a with a moose hunting season um, where I can just rest them for a week or so really cram quite a bit of food in them so they get a little bit more mass on them and then I preserve that mass uh, this year since it was so warm in the summer uh, it's a little bit shoved to the autumn period which is not that good but we see how it goes you know otherwise I just have to rest them in between and do that so this is what I got now it's a lot of in intestines and uh, it's, it's basically uh, just lungs and, and throat and all that kind of interior part unfortunately they didn't give me the um, I got the stomach but what I didn't get is all the intestines tracks basically that, that they didn't give me I don't know what they have done with that but uh, dogs are getting a little shitty right now hey guys they are you know the females starting to get in heat they just got quite a bit of meat I just get chunks like this you know so they get quite a bit of food in they get later in the evening they get some something else which is minced meat that's um that pretty much like every Scandinavian dog musher is using that stuff it's already minced up uh, you just have, I always buy the 20 kilo blocks you can buy them in smaller chunks as well but um, that is in terms of pricing that's the best and um, if you uh, the dogs at the moment get five kilos of that uh, with quite a lot of water one one and a half liters uh, to it per dog and uh, five kilos overall for the eight dogs I have um, and um, so they get hydrated and also they get quite a bit of 
meat as well, with a little bit of dry food to it as well. The dry food is um, right now. I have to wait a little bit before I get the little, little, a new delivery again. But um, it's fairly okay. It's a, it's a Danish brand. Uh, works quite well. I used that last year as well. I used Troll. Uh, it's a Norwegian brand. I'm not so fond of it, unfortunately, because the dogs are not keeping the, the weight that well. When you go out and you know when I'm going out on tours uh, on longer ones, I usually just use dry food, and if I can, I supplement before it, or during the trip if I can, uh, and uh, give them some meat then. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much what I'm feeding the dogs at the moment. Uh, it's pretty important now that they get as much meat in as possible, so they actually uh, have energy um, during the summertime out of necessity I have to feed dry food which I don't like that much if I'm going out on tour then I have to rely on dry food because uh, in terms of uh, weight it's it's a little bit off you know it's too much water in it so but they are doing way way better giving them meat obviously all right